presentation will get started here. Uh, first off, thanks for coming right, for uh, November Student of the Month. Right, we have a great lot uh, this month. I'm just going to go over kind of how we get here, right, the students and the scholar athletes you see here, and also our uh, staff member of the month. Right, so my name is Sean Conti. I'm the one who called most of you uh, about a week ago. Right, um, so I know that it's always you never know how to take that phone call. And arrive over here, kind of prefaced his mom saying he was going to get suspended, and one of the principals would be calling. Uh, so she let me know when it came up with caller ID that you know, she actually believed him at that point. Um, so I always try to say as quickly as possible this is a good thing, right? it's a good phone call, right? Um, I'm going to get to make a ton of home but once a month, I'm guaranteed at least six. Right? So I always look forward to it. Um, so basically, Miss Hain over here is our librarian. She's uh, integral in how this all happens. She sends an email, email to the uh, entire staff. And from there, we have uh, several nominations for each grade level, right? so really dozens. Uh, they come in, and then that goes to a committee, and the committee then votes on who they think is worthy for that month, right? Um, so it really just speaks volumes when you see how many we get uh, to the um, students you see in front of us today. So really should be proud. Uh, another thing we implemented uh, last year is our scholar athlete. Right? We'll have two athletes recognized after our students of the month, and also our staff member of the month. Okay, so it kind of works just backwards from there. We put that out to the students, we tweet it, uh, goes on the website, whatnot, and then the students can then vote on a staff member, right? Um, and then we kind of flip it, right? So when the students of the month come up, their nominated teacher will talk on their behalf. Uh, in this case, we're gonna have the student talk on the staff member's behalf. Okay, so that's where we'll get started today, right? For this month, our uh, teacher of the month, staff member of the month is Ms. Claire, right? She was nominated by Madison Henry. So the teacher of the month was really easy for me to pick because I have such a great non-contemporary size teacher. Um, it was a great opportunity for Miss Claire, and she always went up and beyond what normal teachers do to help her students. She wanted all of her students, no matter what, to succeed. diligence in getting that started, you know, see, taking the proper channels, but again, he's one of the nicest and hardworking young men I've ever met uh, since I've been here at Interboro, so he's earned this you know, above and beyond. Good job, man. Thanks, Mr. Schneider. Congrats, Roger. Uh, our sophomore winner for the month is David Phillips. He was nominated by Mr. Herman. David last year as a ninth grader, and I currently am the debate team coach with Mrs. Malenich, and he's on the debate team as well. So I've had the pleasure of spending a lot of time with David the past two years. I had him for honors English and for two creative writing classes. And although David gets like consistently great grades, uh, that's not why I nominated him for this. I nominated him because um, he cares way more about trying new things, about learning and bettering himself, than he does about the actual A's and B's. So he's tried out things like winter track for the first time this year. Last year he was a freshman and he joined the debate team, not really knowing too many people that were on the team. He joined up on a team with sophomores and he's had a lot of wins since then. So he cares more about um, experiences, about improving himself, and that's why I nominated him uh, 
a very creative writer as well. And I'm really happy that I had David so much last year as a student. Congrats. Uh, our junior winner is Amanda Donahue, nominated by Mick Wallace. Hi, um, Amanda lost the dance. She's in her third year of French because of the vocabulary that goes with that. And uh, Amanda, too, likes to explore new things. And she takes advantage of opportunities that are offered to her, such as the trip to the Art Museum. She went to that. She went to the uh, French Heritage Night at the Flyers game last year, where Bertie Kwan spoke to us, and that, that was really nice. Um, Amanda's very pleasant and responsible. She works a part-time job, still maintains an A average. All right, she also gets her brother off to school in the morning. Um, she should be held up as a, a great example for Empire students, and I'm really happy to she's got the support. Our senior winner, long time coming. Uh, I think Billy was actually your October winner, I believe. Um, he was nominated by uh, Mr. McGrath, so Billy Hallinan. Uh, I nominated Billy for a whole bunch of reasons. Uh, I've known him since ninth grade. He's been on all the teams that I coach, and, and he's the best runner in the league and all that. But that, that wasn't really the primary reason that I nominated. Um, Billy's grades are fantastic, just like all the other winners, and, and he really does a good job in the classroom. But he is uh, focused on going to school for pharmacy, and we ran into a situation where he wasn't able to take calculus and uh, AP calculus and AP biology at the same time because they were scheduled um, during the same period. So he ended up working with Mr. Beckett and Mrs. Salisbury and ended up uh, taking an online AP biology course, Mrs. Salisbury helps him after school. When the labs are done, then he goes with Mr. Beckett, gets excused from that class, goes with the AP biology class, and is essentially taking two classes at the same time without a time frame. So I think that's pretty, uh, I think that's pretty impressive and it just shows the dedication and, and what type of a quality student he is. So that's the reason I gave him, uh, or nominated him for student of the month. And I congratulate you. Uh, now we're going to switch to our Scholar Athlete of the Month. Uh, so Mr. Barrett, our Assistant Athletic Director, is going to go over and kind of explain how we go about that. Uh, again, hi. Good morning, everyone. Uh, once again, my name is uh, Joe Bowen. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director uh, here. Mr. Boss is unfortunately not in today. Um, but it is always our honor and pleasure to give this award out, especially at this time of year. Uh, for those of you that have been paying attention to our sports programs, we are technically in between seasons right now, but our last season, which just concluded, obviously, was our football season, which always goes the longest. Um, so it just makes perfect sense that our scholar athletes for this month are a football player and one of our cheerleaders. Um, and they also represent our brand new Beverly Pride shirts, which they will be receiving, as well as the um, students of the month. You guys get these as well. So without further ado, to introduce Chelsea. Uh, Coach Odin, if you would please come up here to present our first scholar athlete, please. Yep. All right, lovely Chels. This is Chelsea Hagen. We are so lucky to have her on our squad. This is her second year with us. Um, she's on varsity. She is one of our skilled, most skilled athletes on the cheer squad as a base, looking good on the track, doing the whole nine yards. Um, and she also, we just concluded our football season where we cheered on boys every Friday night. But we are now venturing off to our competition season, so that is just starting for us. So we are a long season as well. Um, and she's one of our members, and we're so lucky to have her. She's also an excellent team player, um, very well liked in the squad, and brings a lot of laughs and smiles along the way of practice. And it's just hilarious, and everybody loves her. So in addition to that amazingness, she also takes um, honors classes here, and she was distinguished on the roll. And we are just so lucky um, and blessed to have her in the squad, and also as a cheerleader to represent us in the high school as well, because we want to make sure we're representing the whole well-rounded crew. And she is certainly a well-rounded, amazing person. So. Thank you. <laughs> and our second star athlete who will be presented by the one and only Coach Lennox is Connor Adams. Uh, last night, Connor was also 
also honored at the uh, PIAA Chester chapter of officials as the uh, Del Val, Old Del Val area uh, scholar athlete. And uh, just you know, a couple things that uh, was brought out last night uh, and today. But he has uh, 1,300 SAT scores. He has four AP courses. He's ranked 10th uh, in his class of uh, 275. He's in the National Honor Society, the Physics Olympics. He's in student council. He's a distinguished honor roll student. Uh, he's in the Delco chapter uh, of the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame nominee. He also runs a winter and spring track where he's captain. Uh, his first team, all Del Val uh, football. Uh, he's voted the Ridley captain. Uh, and that's an honor among our own players uh, for the Ridley game, which uh, was huge this year. And then he also finds the time uh, he volunteered at the Ronald McDonald House, uh, Glen Old Community Day, 5K for American Cancer Society, and Susan G. Home and Walk. And then, uh, he also, last night, was brought out that he also shovels uh, sidewalks for uh, senior citizens. I'm going to over my house and shovel my sidewalk. <laughs> and if he does it, we're going to take care of him. And, uh, my coaches uh, just think the world of them. So, great kid. <laughs> So to wrap it up, I just want to thank everybody again for coming in today. And really, you know, it's a testament to everyone um, you know, respected by their peers, their teachers, school spirit, that go above and beyond what we asked us in, in the hallways uh, in the classroom. So, uh, so thanks again for everybody for coming. Uh, the students, you are going to get your pictures taken with Chief Sadik. Right? That'll go up in the lobby for the next uh, month and a half or so. All right? So we'll go individuals and then group shots. All right? uh, so thanks again, everybody, for coming. And uh, have a great weekend. Thank you.